okay, so recently I've been noticing that the studded ripped shorts trend is getting really popular. So if you want a pair but you don't know where to buy them, you can't find a pair that you like, or they're just way too expensive for you, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own with just a pair of old jeans and some $3 studs that you can find at like your local craft store. They're really easy to make. I hope you guys enjoy, and this is what the finished product looks like. Pretty great, so keep watching! Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm just starting out with a pair of jeans that are obviously way too small for me, but you can use whatever you want. And then either have a friend or you can do it yourself. I just got my mom to do this for me, but make a line on where you want to cut the shorts. So this is what mine looks like, and I actually made my line a little bit like longer than what I wanted them to be because when you shred them, then the shorts will end up being a little bit shorter than what you made the line at because you'll be shredding them from there. Okay, then obviously you're just going to like want to cut a hole and you want to make sure that you're only doing one side of the jeans at one time. Like this will make sense. Like you do the front and then you do the other side of the jeans, cut on the line, blah, blah, blah. And then you flip it over and then you do the back side. Like you don't cut the whole entire jean at the same time. Otherwise your butt crack will be showing and nobody wants to see your butt crack. It's disgusting. So to make your jeans look kind of worn, just rub the tip of your fabric scissors like back and forth on them. And then you're going to want to start shearing, which is a fun and long process. But basically you're just going to take the end of your jean shorts and you're going to take the tip of like some really sharp fabric scissors and you're going to start like pulling the ends of the jeans and this will pull out the threads so I've made little like grips and tears all over and then just to add to like the ambiance of it and then I'm gonna shear the back and you wanna put a piece of cardboard underneath your pants that way you don't ruin whatever surface is underneath you and then if you're doing an area near the pocket you're gonna make sure to take out the pocket because you don't want to cut the pocket so here's what I decided my finished product would be so now it's time to start the studding. So this is my pack of 40 studs that I got. And these are just iron-on studs that I got from Michaels. And this pack is about like $3. So go ahead and read all the instructions. But basically, go ahead and make your pattern. It looks like that. And you're going to peel off the back. And then you're going to stick them on. And I'm kind of doing... I don't really know how to describe this pattern. But this is what I'm doing for mine. So just place them and then this is what it'll look like and then what I'm just doing is I'm just gonna iron the back just to heat them up a little bit and then obviously you're gonna be reading the instructions and then you flip it over and then you iron it I think you like hold it for 15 seconds and then you move it around for 10 seconds and then that's what it looks like and then after you pull it off and then I'm going to be ironing the rest of them and that's a finished product so that was super easy. Um, like The thing that takes the longest is probably the shredding, but that's pretty easy too. So enjoy our shorts and tell everyone who compliments them to check out my channel. Have a fabulous day. Mwah!